Okay, so I've been experimenting with different size hard drives in this. I've got a 1.5 terabyte. I also got a four terabyte. I tried to hook an external drive to this. So came off of the USB port into this external cabinet that had four drives. Uh, didn't work. I thought, well, that could be a more complicated system. Maybe this doesn't have a driver for it. So I took four terabyte out, hooked it in with a much, much simpler controller. Still didn't work. So I got out the 1.5 terabyte, tried it in the USB port with the very simple controller and it wouldn't work. So I want to make the determination that this thing doesn't have drivers for external hard drives hooking up through the USB port. I hoped it would. If I could put this on here with four or four terabytes, I'd have a nice long cache of videos probably for several weeks, but that wasn't meant to be. So I took the back off of this. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five screws. I wanna be sure to turn this off by the way. On the 1080p system, there was a cable coming from this hard drive going into the motherboard and power coming in differently. And that was actually great because guess what? You could change the hard drive or play around without taking this out. So now I gotta take this whole hard drive off to try one of these other ones. So we might as well get used to that. Mounting screws are underneath, no big deal. Uh, we'll go ahead and disconnect all this stuff to make it easier. You need to be at least a little careful that when you take that fourth one out, if you don't watch, this hard drive will drop out. And it could damage it. It's unlikely, but it could damage it. So, once I get those screws out, I just pull that back. Now, what they've done they've done is they've put that SATA port right there on the bottom of the motherboard, which is okay. I mean, most systems do something like that. But I've got a four terabyte I wanna try. So I'll lay that in there, scoot it right up to that port and push it in. I don't wanna hook up all these cables back up. I want display, which is HDMI. It could just as easily be VGA. I want the mouse so I can go into the menus and I need power. Okay, so I should be able to turn this on and let it come up and let's see if it comes up with recognizing a new hard drive. System initializing. I personally think this takes a long time of system initializing, but guess what? It's all relative. If you have one that does longer, this one seems shorter. If you have one that does shorter, then this one seems longer. It's all irrelevant. I'm wondering how Harbor Freight gets uh, one terabyte drives. These are extremely uncommon today. I verified this four terabyte drive was good on my laptop before I brought it out here and put in this. I'm not saying it'll work in this, but I did verify it was good. Okay, it wants me to unlock and that's why I kept the mouse hooked up. And I made this as simple as I could. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll change that before I put it in service, of course. Uh, start the wizard. Uh, I'm just going to skip through it. I don't want to do all of these. Okay, came up with right here in the edge is zero megs is free, which is kind of weird, and 3725 size. So it seems to be seeing all of it. Okay, so if I get here, I check this on that hard drive and then I do format hard drive and that will format it, get it ready for use, put it in service. Cold out today, it's below zero. So it'll see a four terabyte drive. That's actually good, right? My concern was if, if the motherboard is a 32-bit Linux system, then it's going to see two terabytes. If it's a 64-bit system, it's going to see over two terabytes. So if I put a 16 terabyte in here, it should read it. We have them, but I'm not gonna take them out of service to, to try them here. Solves that mystery that it does support those. Okay, so believe it or not, that's also how you replace the hard drive. 
do the same things I did. So I'm gonna put that back in, get it working. I can't use external hard drives. That would be even more convenient because I could get 16, but that's okay. Uh, a four terabytes, four times what I had, that's pretty good. So you can put bigger than two terabyte hard drives in here if you want to upgrade it. The longer you have video, the better off you'll be. That's how you replace a hard drive and add a hard drive. Replace the hard drive to fix one that's bad or replace the hard drive with one bigger so you'll have more space. Okay, if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.